Hello the people and welcome to my end of the year vlog. This is the video I make where I wrap up everything that has occurred in 2017 and try to make the most of what I did. Now 2017 was a very head to gear I know. Disney was bringing gamers to the mainstream. Donald Trump became president of the United States. And um... Oh yeah, Adpocalypse, that was the thing that happened. Jake Paul and all that other dumb stuff. But this is the time of rebranding. Shortly after this video goes up, you will notice a name change and an icon change on this channel. That means I am making it more personal to me because this is my channel and I want to promote it as such. Like, I still like The Improbables. I still respect the impact they've had on me and on the reacting community. But I, it, it's about time for me to start branching out. I'm keeping the Neo Improbables name, but I'm removing the classic. I am not privating the final bonus videos yet. I'm still waiting for the original Improbables to claim those first. But I am removing the inactive Improbable channels from my recommended section so I can make room for awesome YouTubers that actually do have active channels that totally deserve space. But, for my final video of 2017, I decided to go back to January of 2017 and go over some things that have happened since my Welcome to 2017 video. So, Without further ado, let's go over some stuff that I said and what has happened since. And if you're one of those people from the future that's about to get on their keyboards and type Thumbs up if you're watching this in 2020, lol. Well, how does it feel to live in a world where Donald Trump and Kanye West are fighting each other for presidency? And without Vine, after its inevitable closure. Hmm, <sighs> too soon. Yeah, Vine died. I forgot about that. But, I did not consider Vine to be totally dead throughout the rest of the year. I did post some Vines on my Twitter. You can still find them. I'm not going to show any clips here because I have no idea how to download my Vines. S suffice to say, Vine's not dead. And it's, it's especially not dead when the creator of Vine announced that he's working on V2. I don't know what V2 is, but I definitely can't wait for it. I decided instead of having a New Year's resolution this year, I would have what is called a 21 list. You know, things you do before you turn 21. Let's see how many items I fulfilled. I want to fight for creative freedom as opposed to the restrictions of copyrights. Yeah, that was the thing that I asked for. Like, I wanted to be one of those people that asks where's the fair use, and one of those people that like, while respecting copyright and just going along with the ride, I also want to be one of those people that helps put the copyright abusers in their rightful place. So, I made another account on a site called Vidme. <sighs> Still too soon. Yeah, Vimy died as well. Um, let's not talk about that anymore. And now, most of my uncensored material and not YouTube exclusive material are on DTube. You can check out my DTube channel in the description below. Please click like on your favorite video so I can get some cryptocurrency, whatever that is. And more videos will be put there eventually. Another thing I want to do is go to a convention. The next thing I said was I wanted to go to a convention, which I did. I went to TrotCon, which was a broding convention in Columbus, Ohio, I think. And I had a fun time. I got to hang out with my friends, I got to play some video games, check out some Cards Against Manny stuff, Fallout Equestria, Dungeons and Dragons stuff, I bought some hats, I bought a card game thing, I still got these um, vial caps, which I guess was Fallout Equestria currency, Sparkle Cola, I wonder what that tastes like, anyway. It was a really fun and educational experience. But do I plan on going back next year? Nope. At least not that I am aware of. See, a lot of people don't notice, but conventions and preparing for them, especially if you're prepared for them in advance, they're expensive as hell. Like, 
Cactus Chris can go back by himself if he wants, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put my family into a possibility of bankruptcy again because I want to go hang out with people that watch MLP. I swear, next time I want to go to a convention, I'll probably try something in Michigan. There aren't any burning conventions in Michigan that I'm aware of, but I do know some anime conventions exist, so if you run a convention in Michigan and you want to consider, like, uh, advertising, feel free to do so in the comments, and maybe I'll look you up. The other thing I wanted to do was stream some more. Did I manage to do that? Well, yes and no. See, I haven't been streaming because, according to my internet bandwidth settings, I can only output a video of 480p, if even that, and when I tried to input the recommended settings into OBS, it gave me a big mess. And I'm definitely not going to work with that. And I can only guess that streaming from my Xbox One will be just as bad, if not worse. But I have been participating in streams. The YouTube Reactionary Community did some live streams. Orion 5185 Gaming did some live streams. Sanu Pacifist did like one gaming stream. I think he did more, but I was in like the first one. Yeah, I was in a couple of the Orion streams. I was in a couple. I was in one of the Sanu streams. I was in a few of the YRC streams, and I loved doing them. I loved hanging out with my friends. I love getting to know people. I love playing cards against humanity. It's awesome. But streaming myself probably won't be a likely thing. At least not until I get better internet. And to get better internet, I probably have to move. But that's not to say I'm moving right now, because I'm not, that would require lots of money, and it would require me to leave my parents. That's not happening. And be on the lookout for these changes to my channel and my time in 2018. Like, instead of Improbables Classic slash Neo, the channel will be named Neo Improbables Mike Page, because I'm Mike Page, and I run the Neo Improbables. And I figure it would be easier to reach out to more people if I was a channel with my name on it instead of a re-upload station. I will still do reaction videos, I will still do gaming videos, I will still do everything I do on this channel regularly. However, for the month of January, I will be abandoning my usual upload schedule temporarily so I can keep up with real-world events and actually clean my room for once. Videos will return to their proper schedule when I'm finished, so don't worry too much. But instead of calling myself a reaction channel, I'm calling myself a channel that does reactions. Because JoeDan54 and Dan Triple One have pointed out to me that there is a clear difference, and I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing. Also, um, I'm making another channel called YRC Gaming, and it will be host to some special gaming stuff. I, the only thing I can think of is the Polaris Player Sled knockoff that I mentioned earlier, but when I think of other gaming stuff to put there, I will notify you. So, until 2018 comes, thank you for watching, Happy New Year to you all, and I will see you in the next video.